Est-ce qu'on peut acclamer très fort pour le Seigneur? Can we applaud for the Lord? Est-ce que quelqu'un peut acclamer pour Jésus? May someone applaud for Jesus. C'est quelqu'un qui est là peut acclamer pour Jésus. Can someone who is there applaud for Jesus? Pour Jésus. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Que Dieu vous bénisse abondamment. May God bless you abundantly. Pour nous asseoir, merci beaucoup. We can be seated. Thank you very much. Vous saluez votre voisine, votre voisin. And you can greet your neighbor left and right of you. Et vous lui dites shalom. In order to tell them greetings, peace. Quelqu'un qui est à côté de vous. Someone who is next to you. Vous les bénissez au nom de Jésus. You can bless them in the name of Jesus. We give thanks to God for this opportunity He's given to us. To, to meet with you this week. God is good. He is the only one who can do things such as this. Amen. Amen. I'm very happy to see you once again. And I have joy when I see you. Amen. Amen. May God bless you so much. Merci à papa Ogi. Thank you to Pastor Ogi. He wanted for me to be with you this week. Et merci beaucoup sur Mama Nicole. And thank you also to, to Mama Nicole. Amen. Amen. We call, you call her Mama Nicole. And I call her Mama Cole. She knows why. Amen. Amen. Et merci aussi pour na Pastor Abisha Elise. And thank you also to our pastor, Elisha. Très bon, très a, a good man who is always available. Merci pour Nioso, Papa Timothée, Ancien Jeka, tout le monde. Nous avons thank you for the whole team, the elders and the deacons. May God bless you. Amen. Amen. Jours. We have four days. Nous avons and God will help us in order to have an introduction. Et and then tomorrow we shall lift off. Et and then God will, uh, God will help us on Sunday that we may land. Amen. Amen. Greetings from my wife in Africa and also from my church. Amen. Amen. Psalm says, Psalms chapter 16. Psalm says, Psalms chapter 16. Nous commençons au deuxième verset. We'll begin on the second verse. Tina, onzième verset. Until the eleventh verse. Et en particulier, il n'y a que trois versets qui m'intéressent. But the three verses which really interest me. Verses 7, 8, and 11. It's verses 7, 8, and 11. Mais pour, pour une bonne compréhension du texte. For good comprehension of the text. Nous allons partir au deuxième verset. We shall read from the second verse. Psalms chapter 16. Verse 2 to 11. Verse 2 to 11. If you've received it, then you can say Amen. If you haven't received it, say Pastor, wait. Amen. Amen. So in the Bible, it's saying that your neighbor, your cousin, your permission, the one who loves you, is on the banga. If you don't have a Bible today, then ask your neighbor and say, "I promise tomorrow I'll buy one, but just allow me to borrow yours today." And you also, if your beloved has asked you for a Bible, then, then allow him to see it. And if you haven't seen, if you see that someone next to you hasn't got a Bible, then you can move closer to them that you may share. Are you there? Are you there? There was a church in which I asked, are you there? They said, yes, we're there. J'ai dit à l'Éternel. I said to the Lord. Tu es mon Seigneur. You are my Lord. Tu es mon souverain bien. You are my sovereign good. Les saints qui sont dans les pays, les hommes pieux sont l'objet de toute mon affection. As for the saints who are on the earth, they are excellent ones in whom, in whom is all my delight. On multiplie les idoles. They multiplied another god. On court après les dieux étrangers. They run after foreign gods. Je ne réponds pas leur libation des sangs. They drink the offerings of blood I will not offer. Je ne mets pas leur nom sur mes lèvres. Nor take up their names on my lips. L'Éternel est mon partage et mon calice. Oh Lord, you are my portion of my inheritance and my cup. C'est toi qui m'assure mon lot. You maintain my lot. 
Un héritage délicieux me te chie. And the lines have fallen upon me. Une belle possession m'est accordée. In pleasant places you have a good inheritance. Je vais verser 7 now with. J'ai béni l'Éternel mon conseiller. Listen to verses 7 and 8. I bless the Lord who has given me counsel. La nuit même mon cœur m'exhorte. At night even my soul instructs me. Verset 8 c'est le verset mon c'est mon verset chéri dans la Bible. Verse 8 is my is my very my dearest verse in the Bible. J'ai constamment l'Éternel sous mes yeux. I have set the Lord always before me. Quand il est à ma droite, because he is at my right hand, I shall not be moved. Aussi mon cœur est dans la joie, Therefore my heart is glad. Mon esprit dans la and my glory rejoices. Et mon cœur, mon corps en my flesh also is, will rest in hope. Alleluia. Amen. Car tu point mon âme dans le For you you will not leave my soul in shell. Et tu ne point que ton voie la Nor will you allow your holy one to see corruption. Verse 11. Verse 11 tu me feras connaître les sentiers de la vie. You will show me the path of life. Et il y a d'abondante joie devant ta présence. In your presence is fullness of joy. Des délices éternels à ta droite. And your right hand are pleasures. Des délices éternels à ta droite. At your right hand are pleasures. So as you are next to God, you must receive something. You must receive some pleasure from your marriage, in their business, in their life. Because you are in the presence of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Can we all read verse 11 together? One, two, go. Tu me feras connaître les sentiers de la vie. Il y a d'abondante joie devant ta face, des délices éternels à ta droite. Amen. Amen. Thème de séminaire la mission de Zali dans sa présence. The theme of our seminar is in his presence. Amen. Amen. Dans sa présence. In his presence. Seigneur, nous te remercions merci. Lord, we give you once again thanks. Nous bénissons nos collègues. We bless you even more. Merci pour la semaine. Thank you for this week. Femme pour la mission visiter bisson. Bless us and visit us. Au nom de Jésus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Il y a là-bas une église. I wanted to say this church. Le plus grand cadeau. The greatest present. Que nous avons appris ce bisson. That God has given to us. C'est sa présence. Is his presence. Rosa chrétien. If you are a Christian, né de nouveau. Born again. Tu as reçu le Seigneur. You have received the Lord. Kadomu nenon nzamba opesa. The greatest present the Lord can give you.